getting married and settling down is one thing and maintaining it is another. This is a challenge that was bestowed on UBC's news anchor and editor Edward Rukidi Kijanangoma as he walked his fiancée Rebecca Amodink down the aisle. This was at Watoto Church in Tinder before hosting congregants to a reception at La Jola Gardens in Kisasi, a suburb in Kampala. Starting point, Watoto Church in Intinda. This is the story of a news editor and a human resource manager, with the former being our very own Edward Irukidi Kijanangoma. Weddings give revelers the chance to make fashion statements. And here, the man of the moment, precisely the groom, is leaving nothing to chance. And when the bride comes, in the name of Rebecca Donna Amoding, it is obvious they have to go ahead and become husband and wife. Edward, do you take Rebecca to be your lawfully and legally wedded wife? and to live with her, and her alone, as long as both of you shall live to you, I do. <laughs> Rebecca, do you promise, or no, do you take Edward to be your lawfully and legally wedded husband, and to live with him, and him alone, as long as both of you shall live to you? Yes, I do. A fitting deco. A fitting place for a fitting moment at Watoto Church in Intinda. And just as it goes, when the ring slips down that finger, it is clear she is no longer available. The challenge we have is, after you have had such a beautiful celebration, a wonderful day, a wonderful occasion, the story begins and the story keeps changing. When you follow the story, it doesn't seem to continue with the joy. It doesn't seem to continue with the relation that we continue with here. You know, some stories end up badly. Some stories end up well. I want to say, Rebecca, in Watoto Church, we do not believe in divorce. We are Christians. God said that's why Edward has chosen to leave his parents. And is now joined to you. And the two of you become like this. This new union calls for celebrations. After all, it is all optimism, filling the couples and well-wishers faces. It's a special day for us. Number seven is incredible because it's a, a moment of completion. One, two, uh, it is a moment of rest. And we begin our marriage from a place of rest. Marriage is... Um a command of God and uh, once a person achieves that I think uh, it's um, you're fulfilling one of God's uh, uh, commands so that because the Bible says that uh, a man should not live alone but uh, uh, should live with uh, a companion and that's the wife so I feel fulfilled and very happy for this day. I feel so excited I feel so happy for Becky uh, coming before God for a blessing is really one thing that everyone should look out for I pray for blessings, may their basket overflow, may they have all the best of all the best of all the, may they have fun in their marriage. End point, La Jola Gardens. As the couple hosts reveal us to a reception filled with messages of both straight paths and hurdles encountered in marriage. It is done, and from the UBC family, it is all well wishes for the couple in all times to come. Don't have doubt in one another, otherwise you will not go ahead. The last one is love. Are you in love? Rebecca, are you in love? <laughs> Take your time, but don't take too long. Maybe some two years, three years, four years. I don't know. God bless you. 
as Prince Edward Kijanangoma is being congratulated upon reaching this milestone, the question is, who could be next to walk down the aisle at UBC? Henry Okurut, UBC. Well, congratulations to the Kijanangoma 